tried that sentence again for vanity purposes. I'm for the audience. It's not even for me. It's for the audience. I said you were so forgiving, empathetic, and all of that for all very, I've been very empathetic this week. Yeah. And then now you suddenly turned on a dime, and I'm just now I have to let my anger out. Like what? Had, what was? What is different now that wasn't so a month ago and three weeks ago? Oh. Because I was, I was a little bitch. You were? A little bitch. I didn't think you were. I think you were being Christ-like. I, I, yeah, uh, um, yeah, but Christ doesn't need to have a partner. Um, That's doesn't true. feel like he needs to have a partner. Yeah, you, don't, you don't have to have a partner, but I just meant the way that you were responding so patiently and gracefully, despite the withering nature of that split. Yeah. So that's grace. Grace is not that alone is not how you get the girl. But were you well? I'm, so, do you feel like you're stronger now because you're angry? Hmm. I have to be angry. Why? Otherwise, I could be dead. Okay, so I. I just need like more context. Boiling it down because I. So that the video on that video, that video was a, a, the sixth item I sent her on uh, November 23rd, our special, a special day we had. I sent her poems and other videos of self-improvement and talking about her and loving her and stuff. And, and I got literally no response. And then this was a date that was very special to us. So. Okay. Continue on C A 24 East and then so it's, prepare to exit. It makes sense with your reaction that, that you, you're not someone who experiences anger. You're not someone who has had love and lost it before. Right. So it, you can't blame you can't blame him here. <laughs> um, so to do all the effort I put in, it was like it was like six to eight hours in one day, and I, and I write her poems like almost every day. And this was our special, but very special. So I put that out there, and I got nothing in response just got you know a coldness so because of our extreme connection like we're a mirror to each other so I had nothing I had nothing to do to feel to feel I either had to kill myself or I had to mirror what she was doing as an in to be and be cold and be angry I don't think that's a dichotomy when, when you're hurt it's uh, that's what it is that's what anger is from a sadness and hurt so, it's not that she said anything or did anything, it's just that she said nothing and did nothing. Yeah, in the face Next of, in the face of. On the right, and then keep left. In the face of, as she knows, of my abandonment issues and my attachment issues and how I was last time when she abandoned me. She knows um, that, and so you'd think she would say something. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would uh, bother me too, a lot. That's one of my top... Especially she's, you know, she's going through the same, she's going through the same pain, the same amount of pain, so that's why I don't blame, why I blame her, I just, I have to be myself and express myself, because that's being In truthful to me. Mile, keep left. That's, that's my self-love, is not bottling up my emotions. Um, if I should say it on or off camera, because... Keep left. Well, if you say it off camera, you can say it again later on. Yeah, um, it's even more stupid because she, she's had a family member commit suicide and she talked about how it could have been prevented if she made a phone call. And that's all I've been saying for like days and days. She talked talk to me on the phone and I call, you know, tried to call her a few times and no answer. Proceed about two miles. So you both are broken up and you're both suicidal over it. Possibly, you know, possibly. Because you kept saying you're been in danger all year and I didn't know what that meant. Yeah. And um and yeah. You'd be suicidal over her. Even though you guys were only together for like a month. Of course. When I love, I love fully. Mm -hmm. And like I said, attachment issues. Alright. But that was a problem too. So it's the conundrum, sacrificing everything for love, and then what does love mean? Does love mean loving one person, or does love mean uh, loving everything? But you got to love yourself first. 
self-love first before you can learn to love someone properly, unconditionally. So I feel like I love her unconditionally, but obviously I'm very mad at her. And But if she asks me, I'm never going to lie. I'm never going to say I don't love you. I'm going to say I love you. Because it doesn't matter what, what she does. I'll still love, love her. I think the problem in English... There's her car in red color. ...is that uh, we only have one word for love. Yeah. Unlike the Greeks and other people. So the problem is not that... Uh, you can only love one person you have to choose it's that we there's different kinds of love. so weird for yeah weird for english because we have so many different words yeah it is and so i think we have more words than any other language and so uh loving yourself and loving her and loving the people around you are all different loves and i, and I remember like I, that's one thing that always stuck out to me when we have our conversations is that you'd seem to like lump platonic and erotic love in the same category um, loving her is like feeling at home, and I haven't felt um, that safe since I was like 11 years old, or, or the period where I was in my first true love in 2005, 2006. But this is bigger, it's a little bit bigger than that. What was so special about her that made her different than all of your other girls? My last ex? Or my, my first true love? Uh, this most recent girl is the one you felt the strongest and best about ever, right? The one you're dealing with now. You just can't explain it. That's the point. It's a feeling. It's not. It's so not. It's not. It's not, logi it's not logical brain. And it's not your. Relationship. She can't explain it. She won't be able to explain it either. Besides the fact that, oh, he's like my the guy I love the most, except for he doesn't. He doesn't have all these negative qualities yet. I'll break up with him. Hey, solar panels. Homeless people got solar power up in here. Yeah. <laughs> what wow, the hell? Is this Occupy Wall Street? That's this is Berkeley, baby. <laughs> people actually care about fellow humans a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, and by caring, that is allowing them to allowing them to live. Oh, don't don't get me started. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, continue. <laughs> So you don't know why you cared for her. See, I keep seeing that we've had three cars that are hers, this her model of car within the last five minutes. Like, like that's not a sign that God exists. So much more strongly than the others. In half yeah. of a mile, right turn. Anyway, so what? Yeah, that was just my question. I was wondering oh. why she was so special or why your bond was so much different. like your 13th girl. I've bonded with like two girls. No. I mean, she seemed like a nice girl. I only met her, you know, briefly when we were at our thing this time last year. But, um, she's got demons. Are you talking figuratively? No, the real demons is in your mind. They they're a creation of your mind. And she just let her mind she's let her mind hold on to them. I guess we do the best we can. Um, which way am I gonna go to get to that? Right turn ahead and then right turn. Okay. So you wanna tell talk about your girl? Switch, switch the script here. Not on camera. Okay. Sorry, guys.